What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. Today's video is going to be a little different than my usual. I'm not going to do any voiceover stuff or fancy editing. Pretty much what you see is what you get. Uh, this is the type of video I did when I first started the channel. People liked it. And, um, you know, the voiceover stuff is good, but it's so time consuming. And to kind of give you an, a perspective, a 10 minute uh, video voiceovers, if my computer doesn't shit the bed, if, uh, you know, my neighbors aren't walking around like a bunch of idiots, uh, there's just stuff not going on. It usually takes about three hours, and uh, it's because I have to edit out the F-bombs, uh, you know, the stuttering, all, all that kind of crap that you'll probably hear in this video. Um, it's just, it's got to be more professional, so this is going to be a little laid back, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the update. First things first, the JBO WP40 on the right-hand side, I guess, I want to say it died the other day. Uh, it was pretty dirty, so I went ahead and took both of them out, cleaned it. But uh, it's not dead, but it is. Basically, my different wave modes kick in, and it turns off at certain points during the day, but then it doesn't turn back on. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Now, I definitely checked the inside. There's nothing going on with it. So right now, if it turns off, I simply have to go in there with my feeding stick that I feed the eel with and spin it, and it goes back to normal. So right now, it's at an angle at 100%, so I'm not blasting the colonies kind of on the back wall there. And I'm just basically going to leave it like that until I figure out what I'm going to do. Now, I could simply just go ahead and buy another one since I've had that one for about two and a half years. So, you know, $70 in two and a half years is really not a big deal. I'm not upset about it. But I really haven't decided if I'm going to use these type of power heads in the next build. Now, I do like them. I don't have any issues with them. So I just have to do a little bit more research and kind of decide if I want to buy another one or do I want to switch to something else. But, uh, you know, besides that, they're pretty good. Um, now, moving on to the frag racks that you see in the front here. The one on the right hand side is everything I'm taking to the frag swap that I couldn't fit in the frag tank. There's a, I don't know, a pink bird's nest, some green bird's nest, and green monty cap. Now the stuff on the left rack is, you know, acropores and stuff that I plan on taking with me to the new 300 gallon build. Now you might be asking, well, I'm not building that tank into September, why are you saving coral now? Well, that kind of moves me into my next thing. The left rock structure is unfortunately coming down within the next two months. So if you like something on that rock structure, it will be for sale on the reef tank, I mean, on the website, sorry, and you'll have a good chance of purchasing it. Now, why is it coming down? As I mentioned before, I never intended for those green star polyps to be on that rock structure, and they have already killed two coral, and they're working their way up to their third and fourth. And um, I guess I could let it go. It's not really a big deal. I have a lot of the coral it's about to kill, but uh, it's irritating. And if something irritates me in my life, I get rid of it. It's that simple. That rock structure is irritating me, the fact that the coral is doing that, so it's got to go. Now, so what am I going to do? Well, I'm uh, going to order some dry rock. I'm going to cure it over the next two months, and then I'm going to replace that rock structure and build a new, uh, I guess I guess around the same size, but I'm going to use that rock structure to grow out Acropora that I plan on taking with me to the 300-gallon build. So everything on that left rack, pretty much everything, is going to go on that new rock, plus the 20 acros that Murphy's Reefing and I are going in on that I'm picking up next month. Those are going to go on that rock, or at least as many of them as I can fit, and we're just going to continue to grow Acropora until we get uh, to July when everything has to be taken out of the tank. Now, uh, yeah, there's a ton of frags on that left rock structure. I've already fragged this tank uh, 150 frags in the last three weeks, and that's kind of what I want to get into next. Uh, and as you can see, you really can't tell. I mean, I can personally tell. I know Lexi can tell, but um, majority of you wouldn't really tell that I took that much coral out of here. But there has been a uh, somewhat of a drop in alkalinity. It went from uh, 9.7 to 9.5, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, is really not a big drop. But uh, my tank doesn't like the little drop, so my acropora were pissed off for a couple of days. It's, you know, it's all right. It's back to normal. But I'm glad that I... I cut so many frags and that my tank reacted the way it did because it, it allows me to realize my original plan was to go ahead and cut everything within like two months in this tank. That would have been devastating. So I'm glad that, it, that I saw the drop when I did and made the change. So basically what I'm going to do is between now and July, I'm just going to cut everything up slowly but surely, just continue to cut it and uh, you know sell it off on the website or locally or frag swaps or whatever just to raise money for that new build. And uh, it's better that way because it's going to be a consistent cutting process and the tank won't have that huge dip. Because I can tell you right now, if I frag this entire tank in three weeks, it would probably crash the tank. I, I, can, I can imagine that it would with all that, uh, all that alkalinity and calcium being sucked out of the water to initiate healing. Or I would just lose a ton of coral. 
Um, either way, it's it's the end of the tank, which is, you know, that defeats the whole purpose of cutting it and getting uh, money for the new build. So I'm glad that uh, that happened and I could figure it out. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, frag system, the frag tank in the other room. Yesterday I did a about five hour project. I posted a couple pictures on the uh, Facebook page, but basically what I did is I removed the refugium and replaced it with a DIY algae scrubber built into the, uh, I guess the overflow. It, it's, it splits off so it goes to that as well. And uh, you know, I'll give you guys an update on that. I'll have that video out on Wednesday and you guys can uh, check out how I did that whole build. It was pretty easy and uh, it's my first algae scrubber that I ever built. I did about a day's worth of research. I guess that's not really a lot of research, but um, you know, I've been hearing good things about it. I've never had one before, so I figured, hey, it's between a refugium or an algae scrubber. I'm going to put an algae scrubber on my frag system, and I'm going to leave the refugium on this, and whatever gives me the best results, I'm going to use in the new build. Now, speaking of the new build, uh, we'll be ordering the tank and stand next month, the end of next month. Um, I should have enough money for that. I'll be ordering the tank and stand. It will be here in about eight weeks. At that point, it will go into storage. I will show you guys that whole process when the tank in, gets in. We'll open it up in the storage unit and, and see what we got going on there. Um, I will be using a Ghost Overflow system, kind of like what I have here, uh, just a you know the Ghost version of it from Synergy Reef. That will be going on that tank. I'm also going to be doing a custom red, white, and blue. Um, I kind of wanted to save this stuff for you guys, but I'll tell you right now. A, a custom red, white, and blue um, themed uh, sump from Geo with built-in um, reactors, GFO carbon reactors, and I'm doing a monster skimmer. Right now I'm looking at um, the Bubble Magus, I believe it's the B11 or B12, something like that. It's rated for about an 800 gallon tank. It is a massive skimmer and it's something that I've kind of wanted for a while. It's either B or D, I have to look at it. Um, but I've kind of wanted that type of skimmer, the DC pump series for a while. So. Uh, we'll see how that works out and uh, so those are just a couple things that I'm getting of course we're getting the calcium reactor um, I'm building that frag tank in the other room into that system so there's a lot of stuff going on there so what I decided to do is I was going to order the tank and stand get that stuff out of the way and then get the proper measurements so I can have the custom sump built to fit uh, every square inch underneath that stand so I can you know I don't want any space that's not being used I want to utilize the eight foot that I have it's basically eight foot by two foot and I want to use it all for some type of equipment to make sure I get the most out of the reef tank. And in order to make that happen, I need to have the stand here so I can get the exact measurements so we're not guessing at the last moment I've already dropped all that money. Of course, guys, I'm going to be adding seven more SB reef lights over that tank. I'm going to be doing uh, hybrid. Obviously, I'm going to be doing, uh, what is it, T5 as well like I do over this tank. It's just going to be a lot more lighting than I did on this, on, on this one. And the reason why I've decided to double up on my SB Reef Lights is I wanted to get a better spread. And I wanted to use a thinner T5 fixture to get a bigger, bigger spread with the LEDs. And you guys will see what I'm talking about when that, that time comes. But enough about that build. I've been thinking about that forever and really planning it out. And uh, everything is really coming together so far. It's just the financial stuff that will happen in time. It is what it is. Um, as for the website, it is pretty much up. And running I am getting business for custom builds and one-on-one -on -one stuff so all that stuff is working great and uh, the website with frags that uh, I still have about 20 more frags to add picture wise to that website but other than that it's good to go and like I said I'll do a complete boxing video so you guys will see how I send coral out and you'll know that it's uh, it's legit it's not a it's not uh, it's not plastic bags it's not a joke my in I intend for you to get the coral in one piece because I've done a lot of shipping. I've seen what happens to those boxes and um, it's irritating. It is, it's very irritating to send out $100 in coral and have the box get completely crushed. And I wanna make sure that if it gets crushed, you still have a fighting chance with the uh, containers and all that stuff that I'm putting the coral in. All right, so, well guys, I think, I think that's about it. I think I rambled on enough. I don't know how long this video is, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put in the comment section below or contact me via email you know that I will get back to you uh, either way if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you Wednesday with a new one later